1,196 days. That's how long Americans have lived under a public health emergency because of COVID-19. Well, tomorrow, that officially comes to an end, although it may feel like it returned to normal months ago. Yeah, in tonight's Question Everything, how will this policy change actually impact our lives? WBZ's Christina Rex gets some answers. The pandemic emergency is over. I was like, kind of confused that it just ended. Yeah, it's been like three years. It was supposed to be two weeks. We've been through a lot these past three years. There was once a time where COVID-19 impacted our everyday activities, including mine reporting in the field. The end of the public health emergency at both the federal and state levels might feel long overdue, but it could have a real impact on your health care and your job. First, will your insurance still cover the cost of COVID-19 tests? It depends. Most insurance companies have announced they'll no longer reimburse you for the cost of an at-home test purchased at the pharmacy, but they will cover a test given by a doctor. It might be harder to get a COVID test. Tufts epidemiologist Shira Darone has been with WBZ from the start, providing guidance from Zoom to in person. She has the answer to our next question. Will you still have to stay home for five days if you test positive? Yes, that is the rule. Then no one has suggested that that is changing. Yes, the Mass Department of Public Health still requires at least five days of isolation. But Dr. Darone suggests it might be safer to change from a testing model. And we move to a stay home when sick model. Do not go out and infect people when you have symptoms. Next question, will you stay covered if you have Mass Health insurance? Possibly not. We're extremely concerned. Gladys Vega of Chelsea's La Collaborativa has been going door to door to alert her community that 300,000 people statewide could lose mass health coverage. The public health emergency required the state to keep everyone on mass health enrolled, but that is going away. People are not aware of it. They actually think that it's not true, that it cannot happen. Um, and I think people got used to having all these resources and now everything is ending. And finally, will you still have to wear a mask at the doctor's office? No, now it's your choice and will no longer be required. With the pandemic in the rearview mirror and vaccine mandates now dropped too, experts like Dr. Darone will be thinking about how we handled COVID and what we could have done differently. Did masks work? Uh, did vaccine mandates work? You know, we, we, it's not clear, but it, what, what we do know is that um, we couldn't do nothing and let this thing ravage our society. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News. And the WBZ News team is committed to helping you find the answers you need. From confusing political stories to small curiosities in your neighborhood, send your questions to questioneverything at cbsboston.com.